Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky and these will be my top moments from episode 11 of The Flash. In this episode we get the introduction of the Harley Rathway character and I thought his introduction was handled very well. They managed to take a pretty minor character from the comics in the form of the Pied Piper and turn him into a pretty big deal. Through him we learn a lot more about the particle accelerator explosion as well as it seems he has some additional information on Ronnie as well as Dr. Wells. I'm honestly kind of glad that they went away from him using a flute like in the comics. Though it would have been nice if they maybe had some kind of flute in the background or maybe had him play a flute. It's just kind of a nod to those comic origins. When I first saw him in costume, I honestly laughed a little bit as it kind of reminded me of a classic Dungeons and Dragons geek setup. But, you know, it was in a good way laughing, so I definitely thought it was pretty good costume design. Once again, we do have a rogue that's actually a tech-based tech villain as opposed to being a metahuman. Like I've said in previous reviews, I think this is meant to be kind of a balance for when they have the arrow crossovers, as they're probably going to heavily involve the rogues. So they need to be able to have those characters be able to go from the Flash to the arrow, whereas the arrow doesn't really deal with metahumans or superpowers in any major way. I do think it was kind of nice that he actually named himself as a Pied Piper. And even Cisco had to admit it was a pretty cool name. So in this episode, we also have where Joe and Eddie are starting up an investigation on Dr. Wells. And I find this to be pretty interesting as we all know how ruthless Dr. Wells can be, right? And, you know, you got to admit he's probably been keeping an eye on Joe as Joe previously questioned him in some other episodes about his past. Plus, this is honestly going to make for some pretty nice tension between Joe and Barry. Whenever Barry kind of finds out that this investigation is going on, pretty much behind his back. So I found that the special effects for the powers of the Pied Piper uh, were handled very well. I thought they looked amazing on screen, but honestly the fights between him and Barry were kind of underwhelming for me. I would have uh, appreciated if maybe Barry had to figure out some way to use his powers to defeat Hartley as opposed to having Wells figure it out. You know, something along the lines of him maybe vibrating him, his molecules at a different frequency to kind of nullify the effects of uh, Hartley's uh, sound weapons. Now, I understand this scene though had to happen as we needed to have Barry trust Wells again. So we need to have that relationship stronger. So that's why that had to happen. For me, the most entertaining scenes had to be with Wells using his speed and the fact that, you know, he actually began losing his speed. This is interesting is at one time the uh, Airbard uh, Thawne reverse flash character from the comics actually required a device to mimic the Flash's speed. It kind of charged him up, kind of similar to the way that the Tachyon device was charging up Wells. Now, the most important takeaway from this episode for me was they actually finally mentioned the Speed Force. To my knowledge, this actually hasn't been brought up in any of the previous episodes. So, in the comics, this is what allows the Flash and pretty much like 90% of the speedsters within the DC Universe to actually have their powers be able to run fast and move fast and everything like that. Uh, the Speed Force does actually have its own set of rules, so I'm. it's going to be enjoying seeing how much of that the uh, writers are going to implement onto the Flash. So all in all, this was a pretty good episode, and while I did find the fight scenes a bit dull, I did enjoy them making Hartley into a really great villain, as it seems he's connected to quite a few plots. I'm hoping we're going to see quite a bit more of this character in other episodes. In the comics, the Pied Piper was actually one of the uh, one of only like a couple rogues that actually fully gave up a life of crime and kind of became a hero in some aspects, or at least started doing good things. So maybe we'll be seeing a Pied Piper and Flash team up in the future. I don't know. So those are my thoughts on the episode 11 of The Flash. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode. And if you have any questions about any of the characters or anything brought up in the episode, Go and put those down in the comments below as well. I'll be happy to go over that information with you. And if you've enjoyed my video, I'd ask you to go and give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. That way you can receive alerts when I post new Flash videos or any of my other Marvel and DC uh, reviews that I do that you might be interested in. And if you have gone ahead and subscribed to my channel already, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you coming on board. And I so hope you're enjoying the videos. Now, with that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day now. Bye.